Yes, YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. You're the one that does it. I don't know. I don't even do it. All you say is Adam. <laughs> yes, YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> Yes YouTube, <laughs> welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing a Q&A. We've clickbaited it a little bit, haven't we? Yeah. We're, not on <laughs> We're not on steroids. We're going to talk about certain topics today that have been trending around YouTube and stuff. Pause. Like that. Three, two, one. What's that? What's that you doing? I'm in bulk. He's in bulk, he's lost his arms. A little bit, a little bit puffy. <laughs> a little bit puffy. <laughs> I haven't lost them. They're just, they're, whenever you sit down, it's not as attractive, is it? Like, right, it's not as attractive. <laughs> no matter. They're mangoes. They're mangoes, yeah. It's gotta hit them Anyway, so we were talking about steroids is something that is going to come up and the new shams. I didn't have a clue what they were until everyone were going off on them about no, no. YouTube. We about thought them. we'd uh, jump on, didn't we? The hype. Yep. This is the hype. That's the hype. That's but what else did we do, Adam? What, what else did we do? We went. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> jinx. <laughs> Double jinx. <laughs> so we went to Muscle Food headquarters and we did a kind of cook off. What's the cooking? Ready, steady, cook. Ready, steady, cook. Yeah. But without any competition. <laughs> ready, ready, steady, stay obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Ready, steady, stay obsessed. Why can we think of that one really? Well? <laughs> because it's rubbish. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do like a future skip forward back. Yeah, thing. future Adam is going to be messed up. Messed up. <laughs> anyway, right, Q&A. Q&A, Q &A, yeah, we'll get a couple of questions down and then we'll cut to the muscle food. Yeah, we will. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. A cat. Hi, Mabel. Cool. Ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into gymnastics? Well, I got into gymnastics when I was three years old because my mum used to love watching garden programs. I used to jump on the bed and roll around when she was watching it. She said, one more time, Luke, and you're going to go to gymnastics. And that's the best thing I've ever done. I did another four draw. I was misobedient. <laughs> and she took me to gymnastics the next day. How did you get into gymnastics, Adam? You. Me. <laughs> How much can you deadlift? I currently have a PB of 200 kilos. I have two or five kilos. The last vlog we did, actually, we did deadlifts in that. We both hit very big. And Jerry, one of our very good friends, powerlifter, so close. hit 292.5. He's going to yeah. go for 300 very soon so I think we should go for 210. 300 in a deadlift is absolutely Insane. crazy in my Insane. words. Let's pop up his little Insta again. Boom. Yeah, yeah. How do we get motivated? It's hard isn't it? It is hard. I, I think it's it's more about mindset. When, when my mind's in the right place, if I'm sat at home not really doing much, then I struggle to get motivated. But if I'm busy and I need to go to the gym, I'm like, right, okay, go in, smash it, and get it done. Go out, do my work, whatever. We spoke yesterday about it, didn't we? Like, although we train heavier, in yeah. the evening, we train better in yeah, the morning it's more we get it done. I don't like the fact of it looming on me throughout the whole day. I'd rather train earlier. Niall absolutely nailed it in his documentary. Yeah, yeah. Being honest about like how when you're on camera you do switch. I'd say it's like it's a slightly exaggerated version. Yeah, it's, it's like not that we're not like this. Constantly like joking around having a laugh Obviously. together. But it's like sometimes you just want to be like sod it. And you need to remember that's normal, but it's how you treat and work with that. Yeah. I'm going to go a bit deeper here. Cool. Listening to an audiobook at the minute called The Chimp Paradox. And it talks a lot about your mindset and how people have like two brains in a sense that are acting and you have your chimp which is more your instinct and you have your human which is more like your reasonable and your negotiative type of person. Say waking up on the morning, your chimp wants to hit snooze and go straight back to sleep. But your human's like, okay, I need to get up and get on with my day. Yeah. So you need to like distract your chimp and let your human work. It's really good, really good listening. I mean, yeah. pretty much listened to an hour audiobook there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's enough questions for now. Let's, after you've listened to him, waffle. Waffle yeah. on. You like yeah. waffles in the morning? Yeah, waffle right? on, talking of food, eh? Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah, Let's perfect. go to muscle food. Thanks, <laughs> Smash. Hello, and welcome to LA Obsession Cooks, Cooks Food. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, you need to comment below our chef names. Speaking of some clever yeah. puns, um, Ainsley. Entry. Muscle Food have kindly invited us to their lovely kitchen setup. Very nice. Oh, we almost think we're professionals. Hey, so we need to be more professionals if we get his aprons on. Go on, mate. Two, one. Ah, oh, <laughs> there we go, that's better. <laughs> right, so basically we're doing a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, a dinner, a dinner, a tea, yeah. however many meals we have. Adam has five, I tend to have four. Slightly changes, but we're aiming to get those 4,000 roughly yeah. calories in. So how do you start your day? Because I start my day with something pretty disgusting. I start my day normally with two teaspoons of lemon juice and two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. 
and water. So, and where that goes is a nice glass. Hey, there we go. Right, so we do two teaspoons of each. I smell. Get to me every morning. Two teaspoons of lemon juice? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I believe the science behind it is that your body acid, believe it or not, is quite alkaline. So you have the acidity from the lemon juice and the apple cider vinegar to neutralise that and it, it gives your stomach better digestion. Mm. But you don't need science, you just drink it. <laughs> what? Whatever, do it. Just go on, just do it. <laughs> but it smells worse than it tastes. Yeah. Is that vinegar? <laughs> it's vinegar. <laughs> that helps just promote good digestion, guys. So it's always nice just to start your morning, get your gut right. Oh, let's twist again. Right. <laughs> right, should we get cooking? Yeah, let's get cooking. Oh, wow. That was a sensational oh, high five. <laughs> Blueberry me! Blueberry you! Boom! There we go, there we go, we got that down. In a second. Bye! <laughs> Got so much oats on the lens! <laughs> ah. That is the end of the meal prep, guys. We've absolutely, I've absolutely smashed it. Adam's looks a bit, you know, a bit grotty, to be honest. <laughs> In my opinion. So what we want you to do is show you the little montage. I want you to vote which one looks the prettiest. Yeah. So we'll talk you through what we've got here. So my first meal is avocados on a bagel with scrambled egg. It works out about six scrambled eggs, six eggs that I'm having in total. Then I've got the oats with 100 grams of blueberries. And first meal, I normally go with the sweet potato, more energy for working out. Chicken and broccoli. Next meal is normally chicken again, broccoli, rice, veg. And then the last meal is the steak, but that is with broccoli and rice. Before I work out, I'll tend to have a monster energy, normally a white monster or one of the zero calorie ones. And then after workout, a protein shake. And that is averaging a good 3,500 calories to 4,000 ish. Cool. I am roughly the same calories. My starter is the English breakfast, like a little bit healthier style. I usually have the chicken, potatoes, broccoli and rice for the first meal. Then I'll go for the fajita mix, which is more a burrito to put the rice in it, so extra carbs. And then my last meal is the same as this one, so the chicken, potatoes, rice and the broccoli, sometimes carrots as well. I'm the same, I have a pre-workout, kind of like an energy drink. Sometimes we mix pre-workout with it. Depends how <laughs> energised you want to be. <laughs> when you wake up on a morning, sometimes you need that little <laughs> bit of a bit groggy. <laughs> I tend to have a protein shake before workout. So like we've got breakfast and then I'll have a protein shake when I'm at work at about six o'clock. I have a scoop of protein in my oats as well, so hence me only having one protein shake. That is all of our food. It looks lovely. We have minus snacks as well. We have the odd. Yeah, there's a little bit of snacks. Yeah. We're, not, we're not all good. We're not all yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, shh. No, no, listen. Don't tell Steve. <laughs> We cut back to future us then. Future us it we're is. Always, we're always doing exercise or doing something. And the, um, well, the <laughs> most important thing after meal prep, guys, is the, the washing up. But we'll, should we leave that for? Leave that for Leave that for muscle. Yeah. Come on, let's go, let's go, yeah. let's go, let's go. <laughs> and we're back. Back I in hope the they saw that transition. I hope they realised how hard that was. Right, guys, so we are back. Next question from Bethany is, what made you start YouTube? One of the main inspirations was Niall, our good friend. Yeah. Obviously, because he did it, that made us. But we had, I remember having the chat in the sauna, yeah. do you remember? The response that you got from beating Niall's Ultimate Gymnastics Challenge yes. was a lot of, like, kind of a driving force behind it. Yeah. Wasn't it? it was I've got like, a story saying, should I start YouTube? And I've got a thousand people voting. Yeah, so, yeah. Was that, but you don't know YouTube, no. basically. And I know YouTube. I watched the video now, again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it works, how content was created and stuff like that. What I like to watch because of how much I actually 
watched of it and stuff like that. Using that and then using as backgrounds, we decided to come together and then we, like we were saying, we talk about it and we saw and everything and we were like, let's do it. But one thing we said is like, we're going to do it right. We don't want to start out and make half-hearted videos. No, we no. want to come in and smash it. Last two questions. Oh, very good question. What's the favourite video you've filmed? Personally, mine. Uh, oh, I've got I'm going to pick Body Power just because of the experience. And when I watch yeah, it back, yeah. it reminds how good Body Power was. The people we met, you know, the people that inspired us that we met there. It was just, yeah. it, was, it was amazing, that vlog. Yeah, it were, yeah, it was class, that. But my favourite was the, the smoothie one that we did with Muscle Food. Oh, God. <laughs> it was just you, you think that was my favourite, yeah. <laughs> Go on, mate. Go on. Bruh. <laughs> I still can't eat chorizo. <laughs> can't. The smell of it makes me sick. The challenges aspects, I really like enjoyed filming yeah. it, and then you just being an idiot and going like, yeah, I think the, the energy drink would be a really good idea. <laughs> I thought it was. That was a good one. I'm actually going to go energy drink. The reason for that is it's going to be quite liquidy. Especially now that's dodgy. Right. I'll be able to drink it quicker, I think. So I'm gonna go that. So if you haven't watched either of these two videos, we'll pop them up on the screen yeah, and make sure you go watch them because they're they're some of our better vlogs, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Final questions. Have you heard of shams and have you or would you take them? I think we're gonna broaden this out to like steroids so in think. general. I personally don't really know too much <coughs> about it, but what I have seen is that shams is basically a steroid light drug that targets cells specifically. It's meant to not have as many side effects as normal steroids, basically. But with it being a completely new drug, going a little bit sciencey, there's no research behind it, so yeah. you don't know, there's like... no long-term research. They have no idea. So you have no idea about it, really. So there's, with things <coughs> like that, I would never, ever recommend taking them or take anything like that. No. When there's no actual official research, you don't know what kind of things yeah. is going to affect your body in, like, the long term. In yeah. terms of steroids in general, we had a chat about this, whether we were going to do this vlog and clickbait it like this because steroids is such a taboo subject and it's something that we get accused of we get quite regularly. Yeah. Now we've started to increase size and Adam's lost so much size in a good way. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's difficult because it's whether you take it as a positive in, as in that if people are accusing you of using steroids then obviously you're looking good. Yeah, yeah, if you're not using them and you're getting accused of it, it's like, oh, well, that's, well, that's, that's a good. good thing. For me, if you're taking them and you're open about taking them yeah, and you're not competing in a, an elite sport that where it's banned. Then, well, uh, yeah, or, or social media. I, yeah, yeah. I don't like people that use it, a use bit, social yeah, media yeah. and mislead. Yeah. Young people, so yeah, you're portraying a body image that isn't achievable. Yeah, we've started to get more and more, haven't we, about yeah. are we using steroids? And the answer is no. We are going into a competition that is untested. Our coach chose the league. It's going to be hard because obviously people yeah. can be on steroids. But what an achievement that's going to be for me and Adam. Yeah. When we beat people that are on steroids, like, yeah. naturally. Anyone that it's accuses us saying we are on it, entitled to your opinion. Yeah. Yeah, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you're entitled to your bull. <laughs> no, we don't plan on taking them. The cons massively outweigh the pros. We don't mind if you're on it. It's like it's not affecting us. But don't lie. But yeah, just don't lie. Yeah. But anyway, right guys, so that is the end of the vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment in on what our chef's name would chef be. Like I'm excited name. to see some of these. Yeah. Don't be dirty. My mum looked at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Ding! Thing to say, Adam. Always one last thing to say. Stay, Stay obsessed. obsessed.